Hey guys, I'm your host Darren Green, and this is another episode of I don't even know what this is called. Like, <laughs> this is a Darren Green show. This is just like a standalone thing where we talk about like you know shows and stuff like that. I'm here with the lovely L Teddy Twenty Seven official. What's going on? Hi people. You know what we came here to do? We're talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta season fourteen, episode nine, Midnight in the Chateau of Good and Evil. <laughs> First of all, everybody, you everybody, uh -huh. this episode got on my neck. Like there was nobody. The mm. the person who least got on my nerves. Not that she didn't get on my nerves, but the person who got on my nerves the least was mm. maybe Candy. Okay, she was the rest there. of them, and I'm talking about even the friends that came through later. Throw all them out with the bath uh, with the bath of water. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to. I will say. I wanted to grab. I wanted to drag Marlo Bottom leftover edges that she got on that scout. Mm. I was. I was. I, I. I really did not care for what she had to say about Ooh. what we about to get into. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We gonna have to get into that. Mm hmm. Oh. I mean, overall, I thought the episode was interesting. You know, we got some surprise meetups. I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Y'all done brought back fossils and stuff. I know that's right. right. Uh, Little <laughs> fossils with thousands of dollars of work on their goddamn face. Shut up, L. Teddy. Wait till we get that. Honey, I was like, come on. You got to open your mouth a little bit wider. Honey was stuck, okay? Girl. Anyway. <laughs> We so shady. Anyway, so let's timeline this situation. So, okay, Ray gets on a podcast. I think with her daughter. Her daughter got a podcast. I know that's right. Shout out to the podcasters out here. Um, don't remember what that podcast was named. I don't remember the name either. I just remember them talking about sex. Yeah, and, it was and why am I inviting my mama on my podcast to talk about sex? Ew! I just can't do it, y'all. Because not you know. that I don't want my mama to hear me talking about sex. I don't want to hear her talking about sex. I neither over here. I don't either. either I don't want to that. And I, everything about Charade this episode was so contrived. Mm -hmm. So horribly it was orchestrated. Dramatic. Because, like, so oh, scary. conveniently my mom is on the show and conveniently in the blogs gets released. <laughs> stuff about Tyrone. At the moment that she's taping, girl, if y'all are going, Bravo, stop playing. Listen, Bravo, Bravo. I expect for y'all right, to be doing that. You know, when right. that girl was reading that article, you know, sure, it was like, say it like this. I got, I got, I got, I'm gonna send you a text. Right, Bra <laughs> Bravo. I don't even blame Sheree and her daughter. Mm -hmm. I blame Bravo for letting that shit be orchestrated like that. I was like, mm hmm. Girl. girl, if y'all don't stop playing with us, Bravo, please stop playing with us. Well, I mean, before then, because I did want to mention this, we did get like a big um a sneak peek, not sneak peek, but another super trailer of the second half of the season, which sounds looks interesting. I didn't even see it. You didn't see it? How you be watching this show? I watched it afterwards, and mm -hmm. when I watch it. It doesn't have any commercial breaks, any nothing. It, it could just go straight through. Oh, all right. Well, we, you missed out on it. So, I mean, it was interesting. I was happy to see I'm going to eventually see It's probably best I don't see it. Mm -hmm. So, I'll have to drag none of these whores. <laughs> no, but there's a lot of things I can't wait to see, though. But, um, yeah, so that happened. And, yeah, Tyrone, something about Tyrone. And I guess this is supposed to lead up, be the lead up to why he's, like, apparently mad at Sheree. You didn't see the trailer, so I mean, yeah. So he's apparently mad at Sheree because he blames her for somebody it. told me he's supposed to come through to her. She by Sheree. Yeah, yeah, that's that was on the super just trailer. A mess. Just a damn mess. And he's supposed to be like, Why oh, was yeah. he even allowed in? <laughs> Who's at the dope? I mean, you know, I Sheree that, was like, if that's the only storyline, so I guess. If you see Tyrone, let him in. Girl, a mess. I I I, I don't I have nothing that I, he ain't even that cute. From what I saw, 
Then mm -mm. now Apollo, I, I will in Apollo the one who was in jail. Yeah, Apollo's the one in jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he, I'm waiting for him to be in prison. But I'll be mm -hmm. waiting. Mm -hmm. All embarrassed and all, Tyrone. Yeah, mm, I'm not doing that. You said Tyrone, and you ain't got money. Mm. No, mm. It's not giving. It's not giving what the supposed have gave. Mm -mm. Not at all. We get a scene from um the one who should not be named and her nephews. Who the fuck is the one that should not? Oh, Marlo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Child. Let me tell you the shit that pissed me the fuck off about this raggedy pussy bitch. Oh. This fucking whore bitch had the audacity to come on television mm. and say, I pulled myself up. You know, I had to make it on my own because I came from the ghetto and I did all of this by myself. No, you didn't, you stinking pussy ass bitch. What you did was you threw your legs in the air, put footprints on ceilings and let your white massa blow your back out. Uh, That's how the fuck you made it. You didn't make it on your own. Bitch, you don't have a job nowhere in America. You have no skills. You have nothing tangible that makes you a productive citizen in these yet to be United States of America. But your raggedy ass sitting up on television, gallivanting around, giving all types of dissertations <laughs> and soliloquies about how great you are and how you pulled yourself up out of bootstraps by yourself. She round here giving speeches. Never two episodes ago, mm -hmm. Raggedy Whore gave fucking speeches like the John, the God, God, God and the Dove. Girl, you ain't did shit. All we need to know is Wait. how to lay our ass on our fucking back and find the right old ass white billionaire that's going to take anything with a little bit of melanin in it as raggedy as it is because you ain't that cute. You don't even keep yourself. I mean, you're not that cute, sweet, sweetheart. You're you don't have you don't look that good. You don't speak well. You don't present yourself that well. So there's no redeeming qualities about you. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing about you that makes me go, oh, I got to have that. Nothing. You just was the easiest, fastest raggedy whore that he could find and could lay down and blow your back out and nut up here. And he could give you a little piece of change. Well, clearly, he only gave you a little piece of change because you only work, you still got one comma in your network. I wow. have one comma in my network. So we're on the same level, boo. You don't even have two commas. What are you talking about? But you on this show, like you that girl. Girl, sit the fuck down, Marla. I'm sorry. I went off on a tirade. Tirade. And I just got and to we the were supposed to wait we till we got the, till we, till we got to the other scene. But yeah, that was a little that was a little I ain't even got to the point where we get to that other scene and I really yeah. have to go off on that word. Yeah. Again. So we just gonna we just gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna come back though. Cause mm. you know, I got I got some stuff to say. Let me gather myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bring it back yeah. together. All right. <laughs> Ooh, all right, I read Sonya, Sonya visits Kenya. Okay, you know, uh they hang out not for long because hmm, we see how they at this point. I don't, I, Sonya, I don't buy Sonya it. has disappointed me. She has, I don't buy it. So I'm completely off the Sonya train. <laughs> Aaron, get out now. Not Aaron, I'm waiting for you. You can come right on over here. I'm waiting for you. I'll give you whatever you need. You need a child. I got you. <laughs> look, 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 look. So yeah, she's she's disappointing me like for real. Like I really thought she was going to be better. I thought she was going to be different. Um, she we just, were rooting for you, Sonya. We were rooting for you. Like I don't know what she is in on this show. Like who right. is she? And then at one point, I think later in the show, she became like the bone carrier or something. Yeah, that like, I'm like, that's not even what you do. It don't even it don't even look natural. Like, like, like now nah, was it in this episode where they asked what can, um. Can you ask her how many people stay in her house? Or was that at the party? Um no, that was at that was at that, that event. Like she's having to um okay, I guess we'll wait. Because <laughs> that bitch was saying that shit like it was a badge of honor that I got 89 people staying in my house. No, that and was then, that was that was the meet down. That was and the me and my husband got to sneak in the car and sneak in closets and shit in my own fucking house. Bitch, don't believe that shit. Bitch, I'm gonna be getting fucked. I'm gonna be loud. I'm gonna scream. 
I'm going to make all kinds of noises. Do what the fuck y'all got to do. If you can't deal with it, find you somewhere to go. If I'm Aaron and I'm a grown ass man, who the fuck are you to tell me? These niggas is getting out of my house. Like, that's the thing. The fuck? That's what I'm saying. And it's like, it don't make any sense. Every time she explained it, I'm just like, God damn, you got a whole goddamn like village in there. That's why Aaron stay gone. Hello. I mean, it's one thing if you got like a Beyonce level house, hell, maybe like a Chateau Charay, even you know, because they got sections. But honey, that's that's I mean, that's like, come on, that's this one of them Atlanta, little Atlanta house. Complain, this why she be complaining about Aaron always gone because he don't want to stay in his house with 89 people staying in it. I want to yeah. stay with him. These people gotta go. Your sister gotta go. Your mother. Your father. Cause you know, cause you know that old man getting on on that day, that man nerves. Like you know that old man. <laughs> you know you, you get your father. <laughs> okay. But that's why he stay gone. And you be mad. Oh, you're never here. I ain't here because you got eight thousand people staying here. If you get you get these people out of my goddamn house, I might stay around. Hmm. Oh. Don't make no sense. It, it it really don't. Um. Then she then she made she asked the question. I know Kenya didn't take it that way, and I'm just so glad that you know Kenya you know is at a different place now. But she was like, "Oh well, you know, I don't know how you do it alone." I'm like, "Ooh, ooh, it's a little." She did try to throw a little jab at Kenya. She Kenya hated. It. Let me just say this. I don't know how you feel about it, but um, I loved Kenya this episode. I'm, I'm going to go in saying that Kenya, this was the best we have ever it seen. It got her. to a point, though, where she got too drunk. I was like, okay, Kenya, girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it was... it was it I could see her more fitting into an obnoxious drunk mm-hmm. that would get on my nerves. It would be cute at first, but after a while, I'd be like, girl, go get away from me. Go sit out somewhere. Get your go ass get away down. from me. <laughs> I, 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 I have friends you like Kenya. It did take it take a minute. It took a minute for Kenya to be like, okay, you know, I'm changed. I'm changed to re- for us to really see it. Like I was like, okay, Kenya, all right, we're seeing a little bit of growth. Like she's not trying to be the villain that she used to be for Come like a long growth. Come on, growth. I think it's because Porsche is not on here anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the second that Porsche come back, well, you know, um, when Phaedra was talking about how uh, she was doing, like I think the the they're doing a housewives. Um, I think it's part. already out. Housewives. Yeah. She was like, I called Kenya because you know she was okay. telling me about. It. I'm like, you called who? Who called you? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, they cool. I man. think episodes are already out on that. Housewives, family trip, or housewives yeah. lumber party, or how some shit were they all together? Girl, I don't know. Right, right. Girl. <laughs> But no, like yeah, it's it's you know I I I like Kenya. We'll, we'll we'll talk more when we get to that part. But um, so that happened, and then I guess uh Candy Candy picks up the phone or calls or something like that. What was Candy talking about? What did she have to say? Oh, they were talking about the um the the robbery or some shit like that. We found out about that. Yeah. Boy. But we saw the boy. Some of some of some girl. Some of <laughs> girl. Some of girl. Some I was talking about Candy. I was talking about she Candy. Was sitting there. there. <laughs> Remember he said he was sitting there. Who he said he said him? Uh, Candy sent me. I'm T. Asa. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, girl, if you, girl, girl. I was like, who is this little girl? Why y'all got her only like this? <laughs> so yeah, she was explaining that. Um, and then uh, yeah, they were talking about the drop it with Drew event and how it's a scam. Uh. <laughs> Not a scam, but like you know, dropping with you the whole situation with Marlo and stuff like that, and you know, you know, she. I, I will give. I will give it to Sonya. Like she, because when we see them go back and she talks to Marlo about it, like she was like telling her, like, well, can you just feel like such and such and such? Like it wasn't like, oh yeah, she was talking shit about you. Like so, it's like, yeah, she's in both conversations talking about it, and but but she she wasn't kind of being messy in this in this instance. But like I don't know how I they're still from- feel like Sonya. It- was trying to be the bone carry. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Sonya, that's it don't even go right. let that go. We already got bone car- we got enough bone carriers. Okay. Right, we got, we, we got don't you, right. need another bone carrier. 
you know, Sheree been on standby, child, ever since Tyrone broke her heart, and she over here. Yeah. Speak, speaking of Sheree, child, <laughs> uh, she meets with that friend that showed up. Remember that friend that was the original person? The said, African chick. Yeah, and she was. I was like, oh, okay, hi. How are you? She got on my nerves. Now she got on <laughs> my nerves the whole episode. I was like, I feel like she was too. Like everything about her seemed too gaudy, too mm -hmm. embellished. Like you try real hard. Oh, I must roll up in my Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. and I got to have this big ass Chanel bag. See, real people who got real money. I've been in 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 places. I ain't got no goddamn money, but I've been in places that are uh, with people that are part of the three comma club. Mm -hmm. And people that's in the three comma club okay, wear some of the most expensive shit in the world. Mm -hmm. However. You won't know who is buying because the first thing they tell you, if you buy some shit and the, the name of the designer is real big on it, that's the cheapest shit in the goddamn store. For real, them big ass. Because she came in up with that Chanel bag. Girl, <laughs> you, I always say on my channel, real girls do real things. And real girls, I don't need all that, honey. What I need is my bag to be real cute. It don't need to have Chanel biggest day on it. You ask me what type of bag is this? Oh, it's Chanel. Oh, oh, you didn't know? Yes, this is a part of the exclusive one in the room where you don't go in. Yeah, that 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 one. Cause it was just like everything she did seemed for show. She was just way too ostentatious and gaudy, and it was just like okay, it just seemed real pretentious. Like you, like okay, I'm yeah, gonna be on Real Housewives. Yeah. I'm gonna be on Real Housewives. So. Girl, make sure you have all my shit right, girl. Let me put this on or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she does. I mean, they a lot of those girls tend to do that. You know, they wanna they want to show both. They wanna uh, essentially be on the show. They wanna have a peach, so they're gonna show any type of lifestyle that they have, so they can you know look at these Bravo execs like, hey, look at me, look at. I, I mean, Marlo did it. I mean, Marlo was the blueprint of this shit, of the friend, the pretentious friend. <laughs> Let's be clear. So, yeah, so, okay, so Sheree breaks down, and I was... Listen, I, I started really laughing. To, I was like, stop. this is some of the fakest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn yeah, life. So tired of this shit. I'm like... When she covered her face, I was like, oh my god. I do, I said... Sheree really be acting. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, girl, what is this, this episode? She ain't cried the first time. Like, the, the, I mean, I would have, I mean. The, first of all, bravo. Y'all, y'all disrespected <laughs> us as viewers with this episode. It was all up in her face. <laughs> there were so many parts of this episode, bravo, that should have never made it off the editing room floor. Mm -hmm. That should have never seen the light of day. Like, this shit was worse than some Tyler Perry shit. <laughs> Some of the shit that we saw this episode mm -hmm. was worse than some shit that we done seen in Tyler Perry. Like, sure. I, when, when, when Sheree started crying and the friend came over there, like I was like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't seem real. Like, when I was looking at it, I didn't, I didn't, I, well, I did chuckle. But, you know, I was just girl. looking in cringe, like, I was like, hmm. You really crying like girl, you really I ain't, I ain't see no tear. <laughs> That's why you covered up you're like oh. <laughs> girl. Girl, you know. the fact that none that zero percent of the viewing public sided with her, <laughs> empathized or sympathized with her, believed her, and everybody was looking at her like bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Like I looked at my timeline, everybody on the timeline was like, "What the fuck is she doing?" <laughs> oh my goodness! Or, or maybe sometimes, maybe she was crying, and like sometimes certain <laughs> people just don't. She wasn't. Look. Don't try and give her any cover. No, some people just don't look genuine. I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm like that too. Like people don't have genuine, or people's emotions don't well, seem genuine. Clear. When you cry, 
Mm -hmm. The tears are going to come first. And yeah. then you're going to cover your face. And make you that don't cover your face first. <laughs> you don't cover your face first and then try to bring the tears. When you really cry, the tears going to come first. And then that's how you're going to cover your face. Because you you trying to block shit. That bitch ain't had. That bitch she be <laughs> ain't had not near, not near tear. <laughs> Or oh, oh, what? What uh, New York said, bitches are in a cry. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny to me. I said, "What is this bullshit, man? What is this yeah. bullshit?" Yeah, I, I knew you was gonna laugh at that because I, I, I just know that when I seen that this morning, I was like, "Oh, I'll tell you about this." <laughs> ah! Girl, it, it just, uh, Sheree, I really wanted to like Sheree. I, I, I mean, she is entertaining, even though this is like fake as hell. This is some stupid shit, but like, I mean. I cannot wait till she has that because she's gonna have that fashion show. I don't care what nobody say. I know people gonna walk across that stage. I know they are. That's what we said. The the how many other times she was supposed to have a fashion show? <laughs> and where we at now? If it don't work out, girl, you better just sell merch. You just better so, sell merch. I blame Bravo even for bringing oh, her back. There, why did she come back? They needed people. They didn't know. They didn't know who they was gonna cast. They, they, I don't know who be scouting these people, but y'all need to scout a little better. Like when they, when people sat there and was like, there was like a whole movement to be like, yo, let's see if we can get Tommy Roman. I mean, I guess she didn't want to do it because I guess she's acting right now, like she is doing shows and stuff. But like, that would have been good. Like that would have been that would have been a firecracker. You know, you what I'm saying? bring who? Tom, uh, Tom, Tammy, Roman? Tammy Roman. Yeah, from real world. Uh, well, from basketball wives. From oh, see, yeah. I mean, she's on basketball wives, but if you go back with her, she's. I, from I know real she was world. on real world. I know. I'm not the looking. second one, <laughs> way back in 1991 or something like that. Mm -hmm, yes, I don't remember because I wasn't alive, but I know about oh, it. Wow, I'm privy to that information. The fact that you said that so effortlessly, I don't remember. I wasn't alive. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much shade of that. The fact that I remember her being on the show just <laughs> aged me. And now that you say, bitch, I wasn't even alive when that shit was. Oh, I ain't mean to shade. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. You do it? Listen, that shit just rolled off your tongue so effortlessly. Yeah, back when I wasn't alive. Oh, not. <laughs> My bad, my bad. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> it is too late now, Eddie. <laughs> uh, 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 well, well, Girl, look, but man. listen, you I ain't gonna you to to like when you know you wasn't around. So yeah, you, this ain't. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, I don't know that bitch from the real world. I know her from basketball. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know that bitch from the real world. Though. I mean, how old is Tammy now? Like fifty? Yeah, I mean, she's—I mean, perfect age. I mean, they—they they probably be about fifty because hell, yeah. hey, oh, that was thirty plus years ago. Mm. I, she might be in her late forties. I would say she's fifty. Look, look, look like, that up. Always like to go up the age. Like I cannot with you. Uh, look it up. She's got to be fifty. Tammy Roman, fifty-two. Oh, I oh. knew that. Real World came out like 91. What's and so I give her maybe she was 20 at that time. Mm -hmm. But even if she was 20, that would put her at 51. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I knew she had to be at least 50 because that was like 91. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it, she could have been on it. There could have been other people on there. I mean, well, there was. I mean, there was people trying to sit there and say, "Oh, what if what if, Mon what if they got Monique? You know, she ain't doing anything." <laughs> what Monique? Monique, the comedian. Oh, she is has this not. Who we are? Come with me, my love. I think, <laughs> that, I think. I think. Monique, too old. She not okay, but all right, but all right. Look at Manzo. Like man, uh, well, if you know Housewives in New Jersey, Manzo. That, I that, mean, that look, at, look at Sheree. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but um, that would have been interesting because we want to like we want to know like what's going on with the marriage, what's going on with your with your career, 
Like they could have put Shekinah on there. Who? Shekinah. Who's Shekinah? From um, she was on Love and Hip Hop. She Ti and Tiny Fred. Shek- hell no, not Shekinah. Mm-hmm. I call her Shekinah. I don't like. She always crying because I, I don't like her either. Ugh. They yes, could have put. Yes. I like, mean, uh, it's a lot of people that they could have put Monica on there. Oh yeah. They could have found something to do with Carly Red trifling ass. Now that she ain't got no goddamn job. Like, nowhere y'all need her. to get. Yeah. Oh, well, she not married. Well, you got you got the the requirements. Got no job in nowhere in America. The 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 requirements have changed. You have to be married or at least in a relationship to be on the show. Like nobody that came on here, Kenya was the last person grandfathered in. <laughs> that ain't had no man up in this oh. show. <laughs> And she the only one. I mean, did she have a man at one point? Walter. When she first came on. I mean, that's what got her in. Damn. Drew yeah. ain't got no man. Yes, yeah, she do. Child. <laughs> sure. That's the man of the people. Speaking <laughs> of Drew, okay. That's the so man she, of the people. She oh, not man of the people, honey. So <laughs> she meets with her mom, right? Talks about Ralph. Um, so <laughs> Ralph is uh, writing a book about adopt or not adopting um step pa- being a step parent. Step parent. Here's my problem with all of these mothers that come on there. Mm. I don't need to see these moms because it doesn't present these mom in the best these moms in the best look because the moms only know one side of the story. Yeah, and none of these mom moms have the the wherewithal and the fortitude to say. I know my raggedy trifling ass child uh-huh. and I know my child will lie and my child ain't shit because that's how, listen, my, I was raised by my grandmother, mm-hmm. so that's a whole different generation. Baby, I could have said, grandma, that, 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 that happened and this happened and that. Well, what did you do? Right. Mm-hmm. That's how my mom no, Yeah, baby. They showed it. Well, what did you do? It was, and so I, all of these moms come on here coddling their child, trying to low-key have their own little storyline or trying to have their own little moment on the goddamn camera so they can go back to Shady Pines and brag to all of their little friends over there that they was on goddamn television and shit. But my point is all y'all come on here caper for your daughters and don't even have the whole full story. So you look stupid. It makes you look so bad as a parent, and it makes people question your parenting, you know, skills and ability. And I'm sure most of them were really good moms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they come on the show, and it, it just looks up bad. I mean, the whole thing about uh, the adopting because they're they're trying to, I guess, they're pressuring Ralph to uh um to adopt the uh Drew's son for but what? That's what I'm saying. It's like. If he's not trying to do it, first of all, that's a red flag right there because if he's not trying to adopt him, though, it does look like I don't, I don't even think first I don't of all can work out, so I don't, I'm not going to adopt your child. And and I don't even see the need to do that mm-hmm. because whether or not you adopt him or not, you're married to him. Mm-hmm. You ain't going nowhere. Okay. You you see what I'm saying? You're married to him. And by virtue of him marrying you, he has to care for and yeah. do for that child. He's this so ain't weird. a McDonald's. This ain't a situation with the dude at the McDonald's where he'd be like, I'm only doing, yeah. <laughs> you know, dealing with my old child. He's married to you. Yeah. And that child lives with y'all. So he has to be father. When y'all got together, you had that child. I think. I don't know why she's gung ho on this, but I think it, okay. So if they were to theoretically like, if he was to do- adopt him, and let's say they like divorce, like he still has, he's still a legal parent at that point, still because he adopted him. Is that what she wants to happen? If I don't know. That's but I don't see the need to do that if y'all are married. But it is, it is. If I was Drew, I would be kind of like. But why you don't want to do it? Like it seemed like you got preservations or 
like you is some contingency. I, if I'm Ralph, I might come right out and say, I don't have no reservations about that child. I, I love him as if he I skeeted him out of my own testes. <laughs> However, it's you who I don't trust. It's mm. your trifling ass that may make me be like, nah, fuck this shit. And I don't want him tethered to me if that's the case. If I have to, you know, get rid of your ass. Hmm. Well, I mean, look, we we gonna we we shall see. Well, I I just don't feel like if I feel like if he's married to you legally, you, I mean, that illegally that's still your child and not his. Mm-hmm. But if you're his wife and you have custody, sole custody of this child. He know he got to take care of that child. That goes without saying. Right. It ain't even no point that you said, oh, you need to ad- adopt what? He's living with us. I'm fathering him. What are you talking about? You got my last name. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just don't and, see the whole and, point. And then the message that she got, like, um, something about you got, like, some dark spirit upon you and it's it's, it's a, yeah you know what and, I, and I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up first of all if you know anything about prophecy and when you have a prophet or prophetess or whoever is prophesying when that person says something to you or is prophesying to you you are immediately supposed to say yep I know exactly what that is Mm-hmm. It's not supposed to be a, oh, I wonder who that is. Yeah. I wonder what. That's not how that's supposed to go. And so when that happened and she and Drew is like, hmm, I wonder who this is. That's how I knew. Nah. Mm-hmm. And so what that means is that doesn't mean necessarily that the prophecy may not have been true. That means that the prophecy may not have been for Drew. Their prophecy might have been for Drew's mom, and she might have was supposed to just keep that for her and say, listen, when I go here, mm-hmm. I need to pray for my daughter. I need to make sure that I watch, you know, and, and, and stuff like that, because it's things and people coming out against her. Because if Drew doesn't know what's, you know, immediately who it is or what Drew isn't, I mean, that's not for her. Yeah, it's not for her. Because she now, guess what she going to do? Everywhere she go, now she's looking. Well, who's the person that got prophesied to me about? It's that and person. That, I'm like, okay. And you're projecting that on anybody that you have the the littlest thing, um, you know, against you. That have the smallest little slight against you. Now, oh, that must be what the prophet was talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But Drew's a mess, so... What do we expect from her? She's a whole goddamn mess. Drew, 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 Drew. I mean, I think um, I did say I was going to enjoy her this season. I, I am, even though she look, she look dumb. She look dumb. But a um, little. <laughs> but but she, uh, you know, I, I I get her. I get her. I think she's she she's feeling like some type of ways about the situation with Sonya, which she has every right to be upset because the way Sonya did like a whole one eighty on that friendship. Like, I know you helped me out with this damn show, but girl, I'm trying to be with the cool kids. Like Sonya is a mess. Like, no. Huh? Sonya is a mess at this point. She's mm-hmm. just a whole goddamn mess. Like, I don't know, like, she she be all over the place. Like, she goes anywhere the wind blows. Mm-hmm. She like a Cynthia almost. Oh, my God. Like them kind of people. I think she is like a Cynthia. She's Cynthia. Wow. Yep. Um, yeah, but, but uh, what's the name? What's the name? Ross ain't, uh, he, he, he ain't no Peter. Yeah, Ross fine. <laughs> he could be a Leon, you know, because mm, I always, I always saw. In, side note, I always wonder why things did not work out with Cynthia and Leon. He could have been one of the girls, but because I had that, I had you that. know, people always said that Leon was one of the girls going all the way back. But I feel like Leon was just a hoe. 
I think the bitch was just fucking anything moving. You said Leon, it. Leon, say what you want. Leon played a lot of um, iconic roles in movies, mm. and Leon was a sex symbol. Yes, he was. Now, he still is. Has he it. still is. Sure. Rumor has it in groupie circles that Leon got a piece of pipe on him too. I so imagine me, he's skinny as hell. I know, huh? I said I imagine he's skinny as hell. I now don't ask me how I know, and don't ask me what groupie circles I you know frequent. I mean, do you have any photographs? As a connoisseur of <laughs> all things celebrity peen and meat, I do not have one. Meaning that there is none, because you got to remember, Leon comes from back in the day before there were peen pics. Mm-hmm. Like you weren't going around and taking either a Polaroid, because if you go take Not a, a peen pic back in the day, it was gonna have to be a Polaroid. Because if you did it with a regular camera, and then you had to go take it to CVS or Walgreens or mm-hmm. back in the day after drugs, so they could develop it, and now. The person developing it looks and see, oh shit, here's the big slab of beef. And then these things, you you had to find a way to hide them. Now, mm. I do have some old pictures of meat that was given to me. To give somebody meat, you had to literally take the picture and then give the picture of mm. your meat to the person. Lord. It's not like, and you wouldn't have it anymore. That person then would have it. Yeah, we unless you took the film and got the, you know, got it developed again. So it was it, back in the day. It was a whole ordeal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he comes from the time where you wasn't just giving. You had to go and be surprised. It was like a Christmas gift. You mm-hmm. unwrapped your gift and was like, "Yay, Santa Claus was good to me." Or um, so you. Oh, that know, was queen. I am. I'm not going to even lie about it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sorry. You know what? And I didn't start off that way. However, all of my boyfriends, luckily for me, I guess, ended up having grotesquely large Mm. pieces of meat. And so I just got conditioned to. No, I just got conditioned. Like I'm, I'm just used to it. What I deal with, you know what I'm saying? Lord. Anyway, back to Leon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I is Aaron could probably be a Leon. I give you that, but that means that Sonya would have to leave him. Oh no! Like I don't see that coming. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> we already got the setup. Mm-hmm. We already got the setup. But I'm here. um, I'm back here for you, topic. Aaron. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Back on, on back on the timeline. So Marlo meets with Sonia in Sheree, and this is where we find out that she kicked the, the, the two boys out. Now, the reason I'm going I'm gonna be real descriptive for we for I'll let you get go in. Um I'm gonna we, let you go first. You got it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because you know I got some hmm. so the boy punched a hole in the wall. Uh they haven't been keeping their room together, it was messy. Um, she said she claimed she was finding some of her joggers in the room, so she felt like she had to lock her door. Um, it was giving real Karen. What were they doing with her joggers? That's a whole nother I mean, story. I'm not that, but see, not mm, I, oh, I don't even know where you're going with that because I was thinking maybe she was using it to sell. She was like, she thought that they were trying to steal it to sell it or something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, sell it to who? Like, what the. Fu- <laughs> So it, it it gave very Karen. It gave very oh my god, clutch my pearls. Um, these are hood rats, so you need to leave. And 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 Marlo, I, I loved how they didn't say it to her in person, but I, when we seen Sheree's, you know, confessional, she was like, you know, I love my child to death. You know, we get into arguments, it get worse, but I ain't never kicking them out. And I feel like they should have said that to her, and nobody saying that to her, and it's kind of pissing me off because how you how. How you sit there and somebody said and this these way. ain't no old ass kids. Like the youngest boy is like thirteen. How old is the oldest one? Like fifteen? I think yeah. I think the the oldest one is in high school. So these people are gonna they're gonna remember this. And somebody said this. Somebody made a tweet. I want to make sure I I get this out here. But she the tweet said your nephews grew up feeling abandoned 
by their mother coming in and out of their lives. And at the first sign of trouble, you kick them out of the house. And this, and it was done to you. And you do the same thing that was done to you. Girl. And she sent them off to, to I think, her sister or whatever. Like, it just is it's so clear that you use them for storyline and that you really you really don't know how to parent children because you have to understand that things like that happen yes granted you, you boy punching a hole in the wall whoop his ass and and, and 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 tell him to girl you you grounded you about to do this you about to earn us uh, work your way back to the, like come on come on like everything's not gonna be peaches and cream you can't just throw money and clothes at them because that's what you've been doing they've been they've been acting right for a little bit but now you got to deal with actually being a parent. So that's that's Marlo. You're 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 trash. I have no. She just. It, I don't feel like go ahead go ahead El Teddy Child. I I ain't got nothing to say. It's, finish her. This is the raggediest piece of shit that they've had on this show in a long ass fucking time. Like you are the proverbial raggedy, nasty-ass schmegma underneath the foreskin of the Bravo penis. Mm. Unkempt, unclean, unsavory, unwanted. I've been saying since the beginning of this season, mm. I don't like these boys on the show. Have I not been saying that since the yeah. beginning of the season? I've been saying this should not be for public consumption. These yeah. boys should not be on this show. This should be a private thing. But no, this goes back to something that I've always, from the time Marlo came on this show and the time we started to learn about her, I've never believed the entirety of this foster parent, foster home. I'm a foster child story. Yeah. Because it doesn't add up. Because sometimes she'll tell you, Oh, I was in the I grew up in the hood and my mama was doing this, that, and the third. And da 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 da. And then when she wants to and she thinks it's advantageous to her, then Pop said, Oh, I was a foster child. Girl, mm -hmm. which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? And your prom pictures, we looking at your prom pictures, ain't honey, they look a little nice. It's it's not don't like no hand down. It leads me to believe. I don't, I've never really believed this whole foster situation and all of that stuff. I think what may have happened was because she's from Florida. Mm -hmm. And let's be clear, I'm from Florida as well. And Florida, like most states, even if they take a child out of the home, they don't immediately go to foster care. Yeah. They may go somewhere for a night or two. But in Florida, there are laws in place that says that they have to make reasonable efforts to place that child with another member of the family, a aunt, a uncle, a grandmother, or somebody, they that's law. So all I've never bought her story, her story. Yeah. And so my other thing about it is, is this, you can't parent for parenting is not a spectator sport. This is not something right. that you do for television unless you are the most worthless piece of scum on the face of the planet who thinks it's a good idea for you to use children for your own financial gain. Yeah. You are the worst piece of shit that there is because these are real lives that you're affecting. Yeah. Like you are the worst kind of piece of shit. Like, you don't, you don't, already, you don't do that. You we don't already do that. knew. You weren't shit based on your antics on the show before we saw the boys. Based mm -hmm. on how you call people your friends and you say the most insidious things about them. Based on how you got every bad thing to say about everybody else, but don't want to look in your own mirror. All right. We already knew you were a piece of shit with regard to how you treated adults. But the fact that you would not only do something like this to children, but your own blood relative children, you are the worst kind of piece of shit. You are the type of person who when you walk across the street and you get hit by a car and fall on the ground, individuals like me 
walk past you and go, oh, that's unfortunate, and keep the fuck on moving. Because I don't owe you any sympathy. I don't owe you any empathy because you're not someone who's deserving of that. Because if you would do that to your own blood relatives, children who are mm-hmm. relatives of yours, I don't even want to know what the fuck that means that you would do to me. And if I'm these people like Sheree and Sonia who's listening to this, it would immediately call into question, oh, that bitch doing this to her own relatives that are children? Yeah. What the fuck that bitch gonna do to me? Because the bitch ain't shit. Mm-hmm. And, I, and to me, it made Sheree and Sonya look like they ain't shit. Because when that bitch said, you can, the, the first thing y'all should have been, hey, bitch, hey, hey, mm-hmm. I'm not siding with you on this. I love you down, but girl, you can't kick. That's not how you parent. Kids are going to do stupid ass shit. Yeah. They don't make you mad. This is what happens. And you got boys. Yeah, they slobs. Yeah, they, yeah, they ain't pulling their weight. Oh, with listen, boys are some of the dirtiest people on the face of the planet. Little boys are. Let's be clear. They are. That's what they do. They don't want to clean up. They don't want to fold up no clothes. They don't want their rooms clean. They He punched a hole in the wall. You know what? He was wrong. Absolutely. That doesn't warrant you saying get the fuck out of my house. Where did yeah. and, oh I sent them to my to my sister's house? You are sending the wrong message to to children who already have abandonment issues. Yeah, you're further driving the stake in everything you did with those you know with those girls that you trying to you trying to help right. out and, and do all it this seems stuff so for. Pretentious. You hope they don't ever find out and be right. like, oh wow. Like, am I just and, a cat crab? And, and, and the sad part is, you try to spend all of these thousands of dollars on these girls and be all of this motherly and, and auntie figure for these girls, but can't take it of your own family members. Bitch, you ain't shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't shit. I want nothing. Listen. Mm-hmm. I, this, I already did not like Marlo. I want to know parts of her. But when this came, I knew. Mm-hmm, yep, I'm done. I, I'm completely turned the page. If you had a horrible childhood, good. If your ass ain't shit right now, great. If your ass get drugged, great. I don't care. Go somewhere and fall off a cliff. I don't care. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, and, and I can't wait to I can't wait till Candy and Candy Kenya get in that ass because Kenya finds out. Although we didn't, uh, although when we get to this party, they they she didn't divulge that information, but Kenya finds out. Like I I don't know how if you're Sheree, I could say all of the horrible things I want to say about Sheree, me not liking her. Mm-hmm. But what I never, with any of the house, I never go and call into question those ladies and their ability as a mother or as a parent. Mm-hmm. Even some of the people who I really don't like, like mm-hmm. a Karen Huger or Satana, Urgh, Ashley Darby, <laughs> as I like to call her, Satana. I never call into question. I mean, I know that Ashley, Satana, has the omen baby Damien? He, oh, Damien, six six six, devil child. I know she has this demon seed, but mm. I remember she is ascended from the eighth level of hell. Yeah. So it makes sense. And even a demon ascended from the eighth level of hell mm-hmm. cares for her own seed and her own child. Yeah. I can never fault her for that. Even raggedy ass Giselle. They will never forget this. I hope she understands, and she—I know she made and a post after those boys come back. I won't want to come back. Oh, she got rid of. Well, fuck. You think it's gonna get better? I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay at my aunt's. I'm gonna stay at your sister's or whatever. Like, do, do you, it's not gonna get better because yeah. you already showed them. You know what it's like, and I'm gonna take as a, I'm gonna speak as a teacher. Mm-hmm. I tell new teachers this all of the time. If a child acts up in your class. And your first thought is, let me kick them out of class. You've lost them for the rest of the year. Because mm-hmm. what's going to happen is they don't want to be in class anyway. 
And at that point, if they don't want to be in class, they just going to act up. They know you're going to throw them out of class. They know there are rules in place that if you threw them out of class, you got to find a way to help them pass and get the work done because you threw them out of class and that's against the rules. Mm-hmm. And so now they're going to do everything in their power to get, they're going to act up more because they want to get thrown out. They don't want to follow rules. And I'm going to say the same thing to you, Marlo, who would never see this. And that's fine. I don't want you to see me because I don't want you to any parts of you. I don't want any parts of you looking at me either. I can't stand your stinking ass. But why would these boys want to come back? And when they do come back, all we got to do is act up and we can get out of here and not have to follow her rules no more. Well, then I'm going to act up again. They already have abandonment issues. They've already yeah. been through this over and over again. And you kicked them out. And and this was this wasn't even like, okay, this like this was after y'all situation where y'all when they called their mom and she went ballistic on, I guess, Marlo or whatever, and they just they just didn't take it well. So yeah, they're gonna act up, they're gonna rage, they're gonna they're gonna feel some type of way, and then and then knowing that this is all on television, they probably they probably they probably was about to get taped and they were like, I don't want to, I don't want no cameras. Cause look, I'm pretty sure if I'm at that age, the, the oldest one that's in high school, I know what the hell's going on. They don't There's even have consent. Of people. They can't even consent to being on camera. So that people means are going to see me. They're going to, yeah. Marlo had to sign off on all of this. Yeah. Mm-mm. I don't want to be on camera. Mm-mm. So if I act up, I ain't got to be on camera. Good. Well, you can't be on camera and be in this house. And that's okay. probably that's probably how the conversation went. Like that's really that's that's mm-hmm. my, that's, my, that's my working theory. I, I I'm, I'm a thousand percent with you. Mm-hmm. Thousand, she probably absolutely said, "Oh, well, the camera's gonna be here. Get over it. I don't want to be on camera, boy. You gonna have to do so. Well, I ain't doing nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that, it, this, I said from the very first time those boys were on screen. This should not be on camera. It should not be on camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know, child. But we, we'll see what happens in the course of a couple episodes or whatever. But we got to get to the last scene, which was Sheree's infamous slumber party. I'm like, girl, what you thought you was going? You thought you was going to do another pillow talk? <laughs> the biggest part of this whole little slumber party, whatever. Who was, was that Twitter guy? guy? When the dude got naked and everybody was like, well, he ain't no bolo. Meaning everybody was like, bruh, you kind of lacking in the meat department. First I'm of all, here. and I wanted to confirm that. I, yeah, I know it, the housewives are never going to see this, but I, I look, I don't care. Y'all going to see it. I know that TikTok, not TikTok, uh, Twitter. Is he a freak Twitter? What's his name on freak Twitter? He's a freak Twitter. I think I for- I think it's a oh my god I forgot his name. Was it, is it big on hard and not big on soft? No, it's big either way, but it, it wasn't. It probably wasn't as big as Bolo. I'm not. I'm gonna give it to you. It probably was not because Molo got a freaking Bolo got a freaking monster. Yeah, he, he does a, have a light saw. He got a light saw. Like yeah, Bolo can. got something that deserves its own area code. The boy got you know when you compare the two, but this is still big though. So you know. He looked familiar, like as he's a, on Twitter. Like he does a lot I of the sip and paint. He does sip and paint, and he's like one of those strippers that like he don't care like who you are. Like he'll he'll sit there dance on the dude and dance on the girl. He'll pick a dude up. You know what I'm saying? His face looked familiar. Yeah, so. he's been on he's been on Twitter a lot. Like I I I, I like to say I know I know. You know this stalk him? Mm, I don't be stalking him. <laughs> I have people on Twitter who I low key stalk. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I got the notifications on for them. They posts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Every time they put a post up on my burners. <laughs> but no, he's he's pretty big, so I don't know what can you. Yeah, you gonna have to send me that link to so I can go back because I'm sure I probably already follow him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm anyway, we'll do that off camera. <laughs> so we'll get it on camera. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but okay, so we had drunk ass Kenya. I love drunk Kenya. I love so I Lisa Wu old ass from season one brought her raggedy ass like she all the way from season one. She was only on one season, and we see why. 
Her face was lagging. Like, what was her this? face looked like? She had way too much nip tuck. She was like, "Well, I just feel like if if you're gonna sit there and 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 talk about people and expect somebody to apologize, you got." I'm like, "Girl, what is this?" Wasn't she like Keith Sweat, baby mama, or something like that? Not Keith Sweat, girl. I forgot who her baby daddy was. I think that was her baby daddy, Keith Sweat. And the thing is, is what, and the thing is, Lisa Wu was pretty. Like she was a pretty girl, right? This, but that's going back to season one. When was season one? Like two thousand three or something? Not shut up. It was. It could have been like two thousand seven or something. <laughs> like it was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not 2002, child. First of all, what? Honey, that's, that's, I mean, look. I want to say you look. were in like elementary school. I was yeah. in middle school. Uh uh. What season one? Go look up. What year season I one came out? I was in middle school. Okay? Look it up. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let's see. They don't never show. <sighs> okay, let's see. Season one. It used to be so easy to just to release date. God damn. I, oh, October 7th, uh, 2008. It was only 2008. I feel like it was like 2004. So I pro- okay, so I was definitely maybe in fifth grade, so elementary. That was elementary school. Okay. Check for towards the end. Towards the end. <laughs> Yet again, when you're right as much as I am, you don't have to brag about it. Uh, child, please. Please. Look, I mean, at the end well, of the day. That is the 2008. I'm not going to tell you how old I was. Mm. Anyway. um, That's like for her eight or nine surgeries ago. Not eight or nine surgeries. <laughs> um, well, uh, Drew and Ralph is going to jail. <laughs> Girl, why is that woman going? First of all, why do you I care? Now, Drew got on my nerves this whole episode, mm-hmm. but I'm with Drew. What kind of stalker ass shit do you got going on? Why are you out here doing background checks on people mm-hmm. that don't have nothing to do with you? Don't got nothing to do with you. She want she want to be like she's the, she's Giovanna. That's 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 what she remember. Oh my girl, you out here doing background checks, girl. Remind, I mean, and you ain't gonna find nothing on my background, but girl, remind me never to be around your head. Mm-hmm. Like I say hello to you, and you said, "Oh, let me go do a background check on this bitch." <laughs> that was weird <laughs> child I mean look, look I mean it, it happens but I mean she like I said she's trying to get the moment she's trying to get like ooh she she pulled some receipt on on one of the cast members so ooh this is an interesting like like they're trying to do that so they can they can sustain their their place as a friend of the show but girl I mean you're not even a friend of the show like in order to be a friend of the show you gotta like appear with other cast members like you're just like, raised friend. Can we, can, I, can we bring Tanya back? I miss Tanya. I miss Tanya with Tanya. I love Tanya. If she would have stayed, I feel like she would have. They would have put her. They would have made her a cast member, and they wouldn't have picked Marlo. I, I, I y'all tell you had that. that whole scandal last year when y'all wanted to out her and force her for getting <laughs> back thrown out. Her ass left. Tanya, well, I'm not here for this bullshit. Child, mm, mm, mm. but I mean, but it is a little like weird that they do got aliases. If that is true, I'm like, yeah, nah, that is that is weird. That is very weird. But it's giving to the the Judice the Judices, whatever the fuck. And shady ass Candy. Now Candy ain't no reader. Mm. Candy ain't the shady girl, but Candy did come when you rich and you could pull Trump cards on bitches. You could be like, that sound like somebody who don't got no good credit. <laughs> <That's so weird. laughs> you know, you 
Girl, when I tell you I fell out, when Candy said that shit, Candy know her credit. Candy know the reason. Talk about somebody credit, girl. We know her credit. That's how, like, Candy, credit, credit. Candy credit is probably fucking shot with that damn with the OLG child. Oh, damn, girl, the reason why she, she able to get what she money. able to get because she got the money. <laughs> she still making money off OLG. Uh huh, girl. Nah, that woman get a damn that generator. Got good credit. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was that was a good little that was a little tea that was a little shade. That um, was a good shade. That was a lot right? of shade, baby. She took out the sun with that one, honey. I was like, ooh. Yeah, and then we, we see that Sonya and uh Drew gets into it again. But I was with once again, I was with Drew. I said it he last so episode. Well, no, I said it two episodes ago. Why the fuck is you asking my man mm-hmm. about your relation? About you having a child? First of all. Mm-hmm. The men are supposed to be asking questions of the man. Mm. You, boo boo, if you got a question, Ooh. you come mm-hmm. ask me. Don't be going over here trying to have long, in depth conversations about getting advice about whether or not you should have a child with my man. No, bitch. No means no. And yes means no. Because mm-hmm. just yeah. like I don't know you like that, my man don't know your man like that. That all men are not equal, and they're not the same. And then she gonna get mad when she like addressed her. I'm like, girl, if you don't get out of here, Drew, Sonya, like I said, so- in Sonya that just- case, in that situation, I can't stand Drew, but she was right. Bitch, you ain't got no reason questioning my. What are you going to my man for about some shit like that? Y'all ain't friends. Your man and my man ain't friends. What the fuck are you doing? The fuck are you doing? No damn sense. It makes it makes no sense, and she. Oh God! Anyway, <laughs> it is. And I hate that either. I got to be side with Drew. I can't yeah. stand it. Yeah. First of all, first of all yeah. we also found out that them hoes um, shop clearance rack when Drew and um, Sheree came in up with the same pajamas on. Bitch, y'all hoes <laughs> shop clearance rack, and y'all proved it this episode, girl. But y'all trying to act all mighty. And holier oh, girl, like y'all got now, money like that. Girl, y'all, y'all look at that shop in the clear. Y'all know they got that damn, they got that from the Nordstrom Rack child. I mean, they got some good shit there too. Look. <laughs> they sure do. But I shop at the Nordstrom Rack, bitch, which just goes to my point. <laughs> you hoes are on my level. Y'all got one comment in y'all network, just like I got one comment in my motherfucking network. Raggedy bitches. Mm. Ah. Look, I mean, hey. I'm just saying. Hmm. So, yeah, they, they get down to the, I guess, to the part where Sheree has to do this damn ritual. What was that about? I'm like, girl, ain't that burning your poo not right. at all? No part of Sheree's cooter. Ugh, she said, up. you know, I feel a little something. I'm like, you wasn't wearing no panties under that? You nasty. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. oh, like, I'm, God. I'm having a swallow vomit that keeps coming up. Mm. Mm. And then we're here doing these these damn uh, Afri- this African tribal ritual and stuff. You know, Drew, you know, Drew Christian ass gonna be like, oh well, you know, I don't do this. This this seems like spirits and all this demonic. I'm mm-hmm. like, Girl. I, it was just this whole pajama party, slumber party, lesbian kickback. Mm. Was like, girl, Sheree, girl, what? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Kenya got drunk as hell. Yes, she did. I loved it. I loved it. It was so funny, though, because she just, I was like, I could tell, I'm like, oh, Kenya drunk, girl. Kenya drinking 
Now, what was this whole conversation between Marlo and Candy? Like, yeah, they were they they talked off on the sock because I guess she noticed Candy noticed that Marlo wasn't feeling wasn't herself, and then they and then that's I guess that's when she told Candy what was been going on, and they had like she had like a little crying moment, and I don't know, I know you ain't looking for no sympathy. Yeah, Marlo. yeah. Bitch, fuck you and your tears, you raggedy stinking asshole. Them crocodile tears. I'm like Marlo. I, when I seen that, I was like, girl, not. Oh. Let me piss on your face and add that to the tears that are drowning your face right now, because it's gonna be more of my piss than it is your tears, you braggity bitch. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, I don't even know. I, I don't know. Like, it's just Marlo. Marlo just wants sympathy. Like, she, she wants to be the bad guy, but then she she's no like, oh, qualities at this point. I told you she can go fall off a cliff at this point. Mm-hmm. There are no redeeming qualities about Marlo. Not a cliff. None. And the fact that Candy is over there trying to play nice with a bitch that just skull drug you two episodes ago. Did Candy see that yet? No, Candy didn't. Because <laughs> Marlo was over there skull dragging you, bitch. Hmm. And Sheree was right there in the A-man corner. Facts. Facts. Really? Raggedy bitches. It's not raggedy bitches. Mm-hmm. The two brokest hoes on there. I mean, I guess you could add um, Drew to the broke hoes, um, you know, con- delegation. Mm-hmm. She could be added to the consortium of broke hoes on the show. I mean, I figured the, the three brokest hoes on there are probably Marlo, Sheree, and Drew. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you could do that. Like, I mean, and then we get like a moment where I, I guess Marlo be trying to try. She she tried Kenya, but Kenya just don't. She, Kenya don't give up. Like she don't give up. Like she was she was drunk herself. She's like, girl, I'm not even. I, I I am the moment. I am the. And I was like, yes, this is this is. I want Kenya to be so unbothered by Marlo and her antics that it's just like, girl. I just hate that we got so much trash on this show <laughs> that I got to try to side with the likes of Kenya Moore and Drew Sidor. <laughs> What the fuck is life coming to? These are some raggedy ass bitches. And why in the fuck am I fighting with them? That just shows you the caliber of trash. Pure, utter trash that they have on this fucking show. <laughs> fucking trash. Well, uh, Lisa Wu also got into it with uh, with Sonya. That, that shit was funny. She Lisa said, Hold on, I'm got that. into it with her Fucking, uh, old surgery doctor. That's who she need to be getting into it with. All your smoke and argument needs to be with your plastic surgery doctor, Dr. Miami. Not with the people at this table. Girl, sit your ass down somewhere. You were fired 13 seasons ago, baby. Let it go, honey. You're not going to come back on the show. This is not your moment. You can't make up for the 13 seasons you haven't been on here. Girl, go somewhere. I feel like and this is, in the words of New York, didn't you leave the first motherfucking night? Like <laughs> girl. I mean, it was funny though. I mean, it it was definitely interesting. I'm like, oh, she's oh, she's getting catty with one of the girl, one of the new girls. Ooh. This is interesting. And once again, I got a fucking side with Drew. Mm. God damn it. When Drew looked at that platoon chick, it was like, girl, what? Girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was going to whip all that. Like, girl, you you? That? Wait, 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 wait. You said platoon. I I got a platoon, platoon, phantom. It's something like that. Girl, I can't keep up. <laughs> so I'm like, what was the woman's name? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I just kept, like call, I kept calling the Sheree friend. I, I thought know. it was platoon or platoon or phantom. <laughs> 
I don't know. That shit was funny. I feel like we should know her name. Yeah, we should, but I, is she not? She not that important. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> like, I would have been like, "Girl, who are you?" Because I'm on the credit. You're not. Girl, you ain't even got. They don't even put your name in special guest or special appearance spot. Girl, who are you? Girl, you one time. Girl. I'm like, I ain't get that. Like, <laughs> girl. girl, who are you? Why are you here? Girl. So uh, so she tells the girls uh, well not she, uh, Marlo tells the girls that she's planning to, to do a trip like a girl's trip or whatever, some kind of road trip. I'm like, this is this is what you're doing when you're when your family, your kids, your you as a monty, this is what you're doing? Why I mean, you should be out here trying to see about these boys who you just kicked out the house for 30 days but instead you going out living the life of Riley you know, parading around the fruited plains. Mm. Going to the Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. I mean, it's going to be, uh, they got it. They haven't went on their first trip yet. So this will be interesting. Their first full trip. New York supposed to be allegedly their first trip. Really? I mean, yeah, yeah I guess you can. I guess you can. Yeah, that little that little, that was the weekend. Blue Ridge Mountains. I think of that old country song, "Country Roads." Mm -hmm. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. What the hell are they gonna be doing there? That, that, that... How's was the Valenti The only thing I know about going country. to cabins in the mountains is porn scenes, because that's where the porn skanks take their annual trips to go and make a whole bunch of videos and you know scenes that they could release one at a time for the next six months because other than that ain't shit to do in the goddamn woods mm. but fuck <laughs> what else you doing they probably gonna go skiing let me say fuck and eat not fucking eat that's well, all you can do in the woods Marlo ain't got nobody well, she, she might bring one of her uh, her little things a little dildos or her little, what do they call it? The little rose petals or whatever the little things. Not the rose petals. <laughs> Probably candy coated. Candy coated. Not the little, the little thing. Yeah, the roses that, that rose 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 with, with the little tongue on it. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't finish my goddamn drink. Mm. Lord. I know you fried up. I got more. Oh, now you got more. <laughs> Honey. But yeah, I don't if, if I'm going somewhere, if if I'm going on a trip to the cabins, I want to go to one of the two. It's either gonna be now I've been to one of the cabins when it was like a nudist colony. Ooh. And I had a great time there and sex was involved. Or I'm going to a cabin with a whole bunch of people where once again sex is gonna be involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, look, <laughs> the trip plan there coming up. They probably, I mean, they probably, you know, something, something is centric as well. Marlo, I don't know. Marlo is a little conservative now. Like she's like, oh, I don't know. This is, this is, this is another. When she got, when, when them strippers came in there, she was like, oh, this is another one of them candy night things. Girl, fuck like, Marlo. Marlo, fuck no, you know you a, like, you know you a free go. Listen, when I think of somebody trying to be all squeamish or conservative, I think of those evangelicals, those radical evangelical Christians that are bigoted, hate, hateful ass, racist, bigoted, homophobic ass people mm -hmm. that I want nothing to do with and who I think should get some kind of disease that rots them out from the insides and eats them from the inside out. So. <laughs> I'm the nice one, y'all. That <laughs> really? Is the main one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, now I'm going that way. <laughs> that He's the main one. one. That, nope, nope. Mm -mm, no, he is. <laughs> I'm the nice one. All in all, what is your thoughts on this episode before we wrap? Y'all just wanted me to hate Marlo. Y'all wanted, I think this was, yeah, Marlo's going to be the villain this episode. Yeah. I mean, she was I'm already the villain, but it was cemented. 
Yeah. There's no way, there's like I said, there's no redeeming qualities about her at this point. There's nothing to like about None. her. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing she can do or say at this point mm-hmm. that will make me make her go up in my estimation. And then she had to know, I'm just trying to do what I can to make these black boys be some with themselves. Girl, fuck you. Girl, get out of here with that. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. You trying to make your pockets fat. Okay. Right. You using and you using your children if, or your if your that was the case, you wouldn't have had them on fucking television. That shit just makes me think off. I'm like, good thing you ain't had no real children because I don't know. Would you kick them out? Shit. <laughs> right. See, God knew better. God knew mm-hmm. we don't need her farting out no children. No. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. We see what you gonna do. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope. No, that's terrible. Go to hell, Marlo. Go to hell. I mean, all in all, I think the episode mm-hmm. was interesting. I mean, it definitely kept my attention this morning when I was it watching. Did keep my attention. I was like, okay, not nah, not nah, okay. Y'all having y- y'all getting there? Y'all getting there? Nah, the y- fact that I had to agree with Kenya mm-hmm. Moore and yeah. Drew Fedora. That <laughs> awful combination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on to come on to the dark side. I told you, King, King ain't there. Like, uh, I'm gonna end up having to do this sugar ray cry. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my god. She had to cry. This she was walking oh. like I was like, oh. Oh. I'm so hurt. Oh my god. Because oh. he, uh, child, you know, you, you was over it by then. <laughs> come on now. Let, let, come, on. Like, come on. I was like, oh. Now, Marla, I'm like, she right, girl, if you don't go sit down somewhere. Sit down. <laughs> that, shit, that shit had me mad. I was a I said, girl, this is some Tyler shit. Not top. <laughs> girl. Not having yeah. to have not, honey. It was yeah. definitely giving Veronica, though, but go ahead. Uh uh-uh, uh, because Veronica be acting her ass off that. <laughs> I live for me, so Veronica bitch. Bitch, I windmill about Veronica bitch. That's my hoe. Uh, not you windmilling for Veronica. Girl, I love Veronica. And then we still get to see tow truck Dick Benny on uh, P Valley. You know, oh. tow truck Dick Benny is diamond. Oh, yeah, that light skinned dude. Yeah. Drake. He look like Drake a little bit, like, uh, like a real. Sexier version than Drake. That's tow truck Dick Benny. Not tow truck yeah. Dick. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about? Okay, I know you be talking about P Valley. Can we talk about how they be having these fake black the prosthetic penis dildos? It's not the even prosthetic, prosthetic penis. It's they a dildo. Had one this episode with um with the skinny dude fucked by um by Haley, and I was like, Girl. you know damn well it ain't that much damn girth with that little boy. I mean, they showed his penis last season, yeah, but that was yeah. a totally different penis. It ain't matching up. <laughs> right. If you go, listen, I need y'all prosthetic pen um, budget to be equivalent to Tyler Perry. Because Tyler Perry spends more money on prosthetic pen budget than he does on his wig. You watch Euphoria. Oh, yeah, you watch Euphoria. They need to be mm-hmm. they need Euphoria level. Now, listen. Prosthetic pen. I need your budget for prosthetic peen to be at either Euphoria or Tyler Perry level. Because Tyler Perry's going to spend some money on his prosthetic peens. Oh, yeah, you know, Tyler his Perry knows budget, good now, his, now, his wig budget ain't shit. Ain't about shit. But the peen. But his prosthetic peen budget? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He needs that to be realistic and lifelike. They, it it looked like, because it's in the dark and nobody really seeing none, them shits look mm-hmm. like black dildos. I was like... Now, I did like the pen that they showed us last week when Ro- before Rome died. Oh, yeah, you, that was real. You had to be that looking at that. Real. Because I see, I it was kind of, like, I didn't see it the uh, first time. The first time I watched, because I watched it twice. Mm-hmm. The first time I watched it, I didn't see it. And the second time I watched it, I just happened to be looking in the mirror. I said, oh, shit. That was him. You think so? Oh no, yeah, yeah. Now he has an infamous scene from because see, I know him from Ruthless because I do watch Ruthless. Don't judge me. 
-hmm. But he had that infamous scene where the dude goes up to him, Daikon goes up to him and tells him, let me smell your dick. And he lifts up his little um, Mm -hmm. cloak and his dick is out. That was a prosthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a clear prosthetic. But you think this was him? It it felt... you, you. you can tell, it, you can almost tell what a prosthetic pain like, but you can tell. Only reason I couldn't, and I am, trust me, I am a connoisseur. I am the penis whisperer. <laughs> and so, because it was in a hazy mirror, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like clear in like the mirror. You couldn't see the root. Right. You, I can tell by the root. Be, you can tell by the root. I needed to be able to see, I need to see if I could see a vein or two, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or something in it to make me go, Oh, you said, oh, okay. Because uh, there have been times where you could look and you say, no, bitch, that's you. Mm-hmm. That is actually you. There's been times where you'd be like, yep, that sure did. Mm-hmm. Remember when, remember when that dude was choking out that other guy that, that was, that was getting his, nyep, nyep by his, by his wife. Oh, that was his dick. That was not a prosthetic. I was like, Ooh, that ass though. You know, and I... <clears throat> that was his, that was all him. That was not mm-hmm. a prosthesis. Mm-hmm. Anyway, awesome. let's let's get up. Let's get let's get up off let's that. Get up yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this yeah, episode. We yeah, we will be back. I, um, I tried to take it easy on Marlo because I could have yeah. went in for about twenty minutes mm-hmm. on that raggedy stinking bitch, but I chose not to. Okay, you chose Grace. Now we will be back next week, but I, we will be on El Teddy's page. So I can't be held responsible if I have to drag her on my page. So <laughs> okay, I got I, I get it. I get it. Because my time, people would love to see me drag that bitch. And we will be on live on his page. And hopefully we will be live. We will be, we'll live. be live again on my page. Um, just because once I get this computer, because you know, guys, I'm getting the iMac A. Eh? Um, and got some surprises that come along with that too for my YouTube people. Um, so thank you so much for in you know watching the show, honey. Hit that smash that like button, leave a comment because I know y'all will, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We gotta beat this algorithm. Okay, guys. See y'all later. Bye, people. Bye bye.